Yeah. No fake promises. Yeah. Keep it real with me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tragic wow. music. Hey, best friends, it's your girl Wan Summer Patur, and I am back with another video. <laughs> Anyways, um, what we're gonna talk about today, we're gonna talk about um, the fake, the lies, the pressure of social media. Yes, we're gonna talk about it. I think it's full time now we have this great conversation about how social media and the fake life, the lies are stressing out other people. All right, let me take off one of my shoes so I can feel comfortable. I've been having this conversation with quite a few friends of mine. I had this conversation two weeks back with my mom, my sister, Tasha, and my cousin. We were basically talking about how some people can put some things on social media and that's not their reality that's fake um there's a lot of people there's a lot of persons that whenever they go on social media um they would feel like they're not doing good for themselves they are not being successful they are the only person that not now go on for listen to me and listen to me good no no go so you hear me tell you? nothing no go so a lot of people i'm just i'm just let me tell you i'm trying to explain something to you guys i'm doing this video to basically just enlighten that not everything you see on the media is real some of it is so fake it is all a facade you understand me it is it is it is um it is a prank it is it is content all right hold on all right most of the times <coughs> you would see um us youtubers come out and we do uh morning routine night routine and all of that right no that does not mean that every morning eight o'clock we get up and the first thing we do we come off our bed and we pray the second thing we do, we go into the bathroom and we brush with teeth. The fourth thing, we, the, the third thing we do, we take a shower. The fourth thing we do, and, and we just, uh, and that's every morning. It doesn't mean that. It does not mean that. No, I'm not going to say for everybody it's not like that because you do have people that really principle themselves to have a routine. So in that sense, it would, be, it would eventually go like that if they program themselves now discipline yourself to have a routine like that no disciplining yourself to have a routine like that is never easy it takes time it's a good thing i have done morning routines already on my channel that's not how i live my everyday life some days i wake up i can't even bother to brush my teeth till at 12 o'clock yes to be honest with you some days i wake up worse when me stressed out i have money problem bed all don't spread see all one week yeah bed all don't spread it might sound nasty and it might sound like oh that's tacky but that is what i'm trying to show you guys that in real life there is no perfect in real life there is no such thing as perfect in real life in the fake life there is perfect when you see a female out on social media get her hair done and she pose for a picture and she she be like this yeah that pose is cute right do you think that this person here stayed slayed like this for the rest of the day no it's not like that so may i ask gonna please for the persons that are that this is happening to don't let social media be on down fall don't let social media force you let you feel like you're not doing well you're careless you're not reach nowhere and you are the only person we're not not one for it listen to me listen 
but just saw uh, the other day the other day i was having a conversation with a friend of mine me never know that people still have borrow people bag me never know that people still have borrow people clothes people ear people all of them type of stuff that i did not know that me never know that me think me, me could do like right now me not, me not, me not interested in all them kind of things and not all anything what me not have me stay without that's me you see red eye and grudge full of envious it will be a lot of us downfall it will be a lot of us downfall you understand me i say you have we have to be careful we have to be careful the type of stuff them we want to follow for and, and do what we want or we want to follow and live number one when we when you see a person all right you see me post up my picture or my video me go to dubai and uh, may I have birthday dinner in the sky and all of them stuff there you don't know how much people me owe you don't know if me got teeth or you don't know if i was if i work for it like you can't see people with them pretty face and you just judge by that say oh she is decent she dep on a level she dep on a class I will but things more I teach you today. But come on for teaching us the class is not money. More want for teaching you today against the class is not money. You can be a thief, a serial. And you have money. A contract. And you have money. So you mean for tell me say them the people that in a class. Class money does not make you in a class. Money not make you a class a person. You understand what I'm saying? It's how you deal with people, how you treat people, how you love for people, how you forgive people, how you care for people naturally, genuinely from in your soul. You understand? So just don't stop see people from social media, drive them big bends and them drop top and I do the whole nine yard and thinking that they are living a perfect life. They are not. They are not. You understand? Let me tell you, there's actually people, like I said, that is that have um routine the principle themselves you know you know much ears me i try to set one routine for when me wake up and me do my facial um my facial routine every morning and drink holy power water all was six eight bottle of water for the day you know how much months i ears me i try pressure that you know how long I have been working on that forever. To so wake up, and as I wake up, I pray. And the second thing I start do, I look at exercise before I come out of the room, then I go brush my teeth and, and, and stuff like that and do my facial routine. It is so hard. It is so hard. You understand? No. You see, oh, oh, you see a girl out there, she always a change her ear style. She always look flawless every time she comes on the media. She always out at some fancy restaurant. A girl and a boy. Mm -hmm. Boys, um, men do it too, a woman do it. And them outside and them always have on all them designer wear. Or them always have on them nice little gears and them type of stuff there. I ask to yourself, say, why? I don't want to live like the girl live. I don't want to live like Cardi B. I don't want to live like nobody at all. You know? I don't want to live like anybody. I have my own little fairy tale idea of how I want to live, of the things them that I want, the places that I want to go, the people that I want around me, how I want to look, how I want to praise God, how I want to serve Him, how I want to love on people. I have my own thing set out in my own mind. I don't want to look like anybody. I've never seen anybody that I want to look like. I remember there was a time when I wanted to do a surgery. I wanted to get my boobs done and I wanted to get my butt done. And guess what? I said, let me look and see if there's if there's anybody that I would show to the surgeon and said, make me look like this. Just you know, Mr. Make me look. Listen to me and listen to me careful could i find anybody i couldn't find nobody there's nobody i want to look like there is nobody i want to look like there is nobody i've seen with a life that i want to have that life 
and I want you to listen to me carefully and don't don't go around what I'm saying to, 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 to pick out what you want to pick out get the message take the message and learn something from the message I don't want to be like nobody because this is something that I know and I've always know this because I've seen it played out numerous of time around me remember I was like what I say in the street okay I know a lot of people I used to do hairdresser I used to work in bars I used to be a, a nanny I used to do all kind of jobs right so I know a lot of people a lot of females would always come around me and some of them would live a life of lies some of them would pretend you know a liar do you know people that tells lie to look bigger than what they are it's one of the most embarrassing thing it is one of the most embarrassing thing for you to tell lies to look bigger than what you are when you can honestly just work to be on that level you know you can work to be on that level but you decide to tell a lie and put up a facade to to, to make things look like what it is that's why my mommy always tell me say grace you chat too much because you tell people your business too much because you know why if i'm not making any money i'm telling the world that i'm not making any money if i'm sad i'm making i'm telling everybody that i'm sad if it if if not not one nothing just not going on i'm not living a life of lie to match up with nobody nobody i'm a cheer leader for my friends and for my good family once something happened for them literally bring joy to me that's something for me to know celebrate you understand it is now something for me to celebrate so it's no longer I just feed them happiness, you know. It becomes mine coming. I celebrate with my friend coming, happy for my cousin coming, happy for my, my auntie, me, happy for my uncle, me, happy for my brother, me, happy for my sister. Me. Not because my friends them have a car or because my friends have a salon, meaning say me I forget one too. No, we have different vision. We have different path. You understand what I'm saying? We have different destination. We have different dreams, different dreams, different aspiration. You must have a mind of your own and stop wanting everything that you see other people with because you don't know where they get it from. You really don't know where they get it from. Stop. As you're going to put yourself into some situation that you will never be able to get yourself out of. Your mind is going to be messed up on so many levels. All of my brothers and my sisters drive. I believe all of my brothers and sisters them own a house to themselves. Except me and my little sister. You see Grace a kill up herself? No, me and my brother and sisters, them don't have the same name. We are not even twins or triplets. We are on a different path. We are on different path. We have different destiny, different destinations. Not because they have houses. Me and Segrace are going to kill up ourselves because of, if they ever have a house, I have to have the house too no you cannot live like that it will make you hate people it will make you grudge people it will make you hate yourself and don't proud of yourself and, and, and have yourself as worthless and you're not rich no way don't see people like on social media and make it stress no out stop it i would say that i always look nice but does that mean that i'm a rich individual or does that mean that i don't go through anything at all my life is perfect and my life is blooming and all these things no baby that's not what it means that is not what it means and one of the reasons as to why some people live in some life of lies and fakeness because they want a crowd to be around them and most of us as human beings whenever nothing are going for somebody we don't want them around we even if we didn't know them a long time we don't want to know them we don't want to 
be around them we don't want to be friends with them and it's just the truth most of us as human beings we want people where things are going for for different different reasons we choose like that so because of that now and then you have some people where don't rate you, don't respect you if you don't have money in your pocket and you don't look like things are going for you, you don't pretend like things are going for you. So because a whole heap of people figure out that now, them start pretend as if something is going on for them. You own problems them too. You think so when time you put on my clothes and they too look up, make up them and them little stuff there and get my nails and whatever, all of the problems they will come, come straight and look like, oh, I'm living a perfect life. There is no such thing as a perfect life. When I met the media, I could feel like I own a loan that have no house. I own a loan that have no degree. I own a loan that have no subject. I own a loan that have got Dubai. Everybody I live their best life except when I got to answer everybody's prayers except when I listen to me, I better feel good after the video here. Feel good after the video here because a lot of people are, people are living a life of lies. A lot of us are living a life of lies. A lot of us wake up every day and I don't know how we can tell lies. So, me no know how we can tell lies. So, sometimes some people tell us some lies and it catch up on them. And you have to just say one like one thing to them and then just shake your head and say, May God help you. Oh, you no lie. Because them just fear to say things are going for other people and nothing not going for them. Eh? You know how much things people are going things are going for you, how much people around me and, and them sit there and going for me. I'm a big up myself, same way and still just come out come put in my little work and still I believe in myself and still I have faith in myself so something I'm gonna work out one day very soon. Me don't need to tell a lie. I'm gonna stop live a life of lies, man, and stop make social media I'm gonna kill up on yourself and stress out on yourself and feel less of a person in on yourself and feel like you don't reach nowhere and you don't the only person not going not, not for and you don't alone not have no house and you don't alone not travel and you don't alone they are foreign. Listen to me, some of these people are lying. Some of these people are going to the ears and they're trusting their ear style to come on social media and put up a front like things are going for them. Uno see some all some people with them man. Let the next thing to uno 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 you know so we need to stop it. Sometimes the company media not we not even put myself in there no, to be honest, me no one put myself in there. I'm not gonna put myself into this because you know why? I am not this. I don't think nobody's living a perfect life because to all people lie around me, they look big. I'm always find out, I'm always know it just it just make me just not trust somebody like me just know so I just saw some people stay then we just want to seek the wrong set of the wrong type of attention. Hold on guys. Alright, so yeah, I am never the person who feel like somebody is living a perfect life because I see them in a marriage or I see them in a um, matching clothes and them type of stuff they know mm -mm. so whatever I say that's my facts you understand sometimes this is some people you know some relationship they are so uncomfortable they are so unhappy like life on a whole is a challenge and it's hard and you have to be strong to be a part of this life as you're gonna be broken every single day you know it's not like I'm saying that every single soul that is posting on social media or everybody that is in a relationship on social social media is living a life of lies like you know becoming know people are live them real truth you know the thing now that it's most people when they see it on social media put it in the comment section where you think you see the matching clothes in the, with the relationships and the man and the woman have on the same clothes and them are the matching and they're doing their videos and they're dancing and they're doing the whole nine yard and everything like that when somebody see some of the time when you see them video they're gonna be like why am i can't wait for a relationship like this jesus please you know, stop it the thought on your mind and the words that is coming from your mouth is so powerful you ask God for a relationship like that and you don't know what is happening behind closed door. Don't do it. It is damaging yourself. So basically when you ask God for your life like that or that life, God is going to give you 
a life like that then some things start happening to you in your life and you literally have to say to yourself say why all of these things here happen to me because you ask god for it because you see the little glowy part of the people them relationship and you never know say the real part of them relationship was so nasty you did not know that you understand me some of the times when i know, I know people that do matching outfits with their partner and they are not in any form of love and the man is not the person that bring forth that idea it was the woman i the woman idea to do a matching outfit somebody tell me can't make the man them take it you know somebody on enough it just one man one man so some of the time on if you are making man take the lead but i'm saying this to say not everything that glitter is gold all right be proud of yourself with what you have and what you are working with what you have today can be multiplied for tomorrow what your day is like today does not determine what it is tomorrow be proud of yourself stand for something know what you want the media can't tell me when to pay my bills when to do my ear when to get a new suit or nothing at all like that i just go on social media i pick out what i want to engage in and how i want to learn from it and what i want to learn from it that's what i do and there's even mostly these days when i go on social media and i see certain things i just pass it come and say mm -mm, not no there's so for me to learn you understand so Stop being pressured by social media. Alright? It's not that important. It is not. Stop being pressured by social media. You are doing good. It's okay. It's fine. Stop being pressured. Because like I said, most of these persons are living a life of life. Um, like I said before, it's not I'm not speaking for everybody because there's really some people out there who are living real life. Because to be honest with you, even my channel, even my, my, my YouTube channel, this channel, I honestly, I've been trying to principle myself for a quite a long time now and it's in our work. Can we just get up and put on no face and don't do my face? You understand? I'll get up and I will just wash my face and just eat it and show off myself and go about my business. There is no facial routine and stuff like that. No. If I can, but, all right, so the fact that I am a content creator, if I start to do morning routines very often, then um, that would mean, basically that could just become my lifestyle, seeing as I've been wanting to, to do that. And I think most of my content is going to just eventually become my lifestyle because my content, I want to do content of how I want to live. You know the things that i would love to be doing on a day-to-day -day, the life i want to live and stuff like that so it will become eventually become a lifestyle and that is what happened with a lot of people that's why i said don't think i don't i am not saying that everybody is living a life of fake i'm just saying don't be pressured by the media it is not that important until the next time it's your girl one so and i thank you all for watching my video Leave your thought down in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me how well you learned something. Um, just keep it respectfully, okay? Until then, see you next time. I love you guys. Oh, and remember to like, share, comment, and to subscribe to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girls. One time for tourist channel. Love y'all.